welcome back to Plaid Week Day 2. I am so excited to be doing Plaid Week. I know it's almost Christmas time, but plaid really doesn't have to be directly related to Christmas time. To me, it's something that is related to winter time, although I can do plaid all year long, and I think I might. And I've been reading some of your comments from just Plaid Week Day 1 video, go, so go check that out. I'll link it down below and at the end of this video too, where I did some like gift wrapping using plaid stuff, and I absolutely loved it, and I loved reading your comments, and I was really surprised by how happy so many of you were and that you were anticipating this video. I know it's probably because I've been talking about it, um, but I'm curious. How long have you been watching Plaid Week since the beginning, or is this your very first year? Um, so comment down below and let me know. But I thought, why not do a plaid haul? So that is what we're going to do today, of course, in my plaid. This is my favorite, favorite scarf. And this is what like I would consider like a tartan plaid. Um, this pattern is absolutely everything to me. Now there's all different kinds of plaid patterns and you're going to see some of the things that I got and how different they are. So I'm excited to share it with you. So you know what? Let's get started. So in this bag right here, and you may have seen it in my shop with me video when I went to Tuesday morning, but I did. I got the mug with the plaid scarf. My mug has a scarf. So anyway, I mean, and this is like a buffalo plaid and it is so pretty as you can see, like it's just a different kind of plaid. It even has tassels. It's got a sweater on and actually in one of my plaid weeks, I think it was last year, I made plaid mug warmers. So go check that out. I will link it down below for you guys. Actually, I've linked all of my plaid weeks down below and I started in 2015. So I did 2015, 2016, and this is my third year doing it. So I absolutely love this mug. The next things are these 10 cans. Now this one's not plaid, but I'm gonna get to this in a minute. This one is, it's from Dollar Tree. I actually don't like this dark white ribbon on here. I just, I'm not a fan of it. So I think I'm actually going to take it off, which will be really like easy to do. And I saw it at Dollar Tree for the very first time yesterday and I picked it up. So I really like this, but this tin can has Christmas lights on it, also from Dollar Tree. I also am not a fan of this cheap looking ribbon here, but let me tell you, I walked into Pottery Barn this morning. I'm on vacation, so I got up, got dressed, went to the mall for the first time in the longest time, and I went to Pottery Barn, and it is so gorgeous and festive in there. If you ever need any ideas, I love to get a lot of my inspiration from Pottery Barn, Pier One, and things like that. So I went in there, and they had these, like, uh, plate mats. I don't know what they call them, but it's essentially like what you would put like as a placemat, but it's actually like cardboard. And if I find a picture online, I'll insert it here. And they had all kinds of different like mats to go under your plates. And they had the cute one with the car and the tree, that whole thing. And they had a plaid one. And then they had a lights one. And I thought this is, this just reminded me so much of Pottery Barn, you guys. As long as you kind of get rid of this ribbon, it is gorgeous. It's just stunning. And you could just put really fun gifts in here, or you could dress up like your tablescape if you do go get those mats from Pottery Barn, and it will be so beautiful. And while I was at Pottery Barn, I did get some stuff, plaid stuff. They had so much in there, and I wanted it all. And not only that, but they were having an amazing sale. And I never, I rarely let myself even go into Pottery Barn, let alone buy anything, because I just feel like a lot of that stuff is expensive, but they were having such an amazing sale. So, and they had bathrobes and slippers and plaid. They had blankets and pillows and sheets and glasses and candles and that whole store is a plaid bazaar so i picked up some coasters now they were twelve dollars 
but it was 50% off. So essentially it ended up being $6, but let me tell you, I'm actually gonna be doing a DIY and showing you guys how you can do this a lot cheaper but this is also my like one of my favorite plaid patterns as well so it's like this red one and then this one that has like a cream and green so these two are my my favorite so here is the candle how beautiful with this gold like rim and then there's the candle and it smells stunning it smells like a vanilla cookie and i absolutely love it vanilla orchid tobacco flowers and jasmine sandalwood and patchouli tartan vanilla is the name of this tartan vanilla and i'm all into it obsessed there was something bizarre though about this when i was checking out so the sign said 50 percent off of these candles and the tag was 16.99 so in my mind i thought 50 percent off of 16.99 well the lady rang it up and it rang up $16.99. It didn't ring up 50% off. And so she was like talking to her boss who was at the register with her. She goes, oh yeah, we put out the sign this morning. Well, turns out that they put out the sign a day early, but they were gonna honor it anyway. And I thought, okay, great. That was really nice of them, but that's not what ended up happening. She then peeled back this sticker and it said $24.99. So then she did 50% off of that. And I was like, and I didn't say anything, but in my head I'm like, I don't think so. Anyone else? Like it should have, they should have honored 50% off from $16.99. I mean, if just because you put a sticker over it doesn't mean you get to then peel it back and change your mind and go, no, this is it. Like, I didn't, I didn't get it. So I ended up getting 50% off of $24.99. So I ended up paying $12. I didn't say anything cause I just wasn't in the mood and I was just kind of like, okay, whatever. Here's yet another story for Pottery Barn. Again, this just goes to show you that I never buy things from Pottery Barn. I was naive. I had no idea how the system works but I was at this like display of pillows and I saw a plaid pillow and it was gorgeous. And the tag said $20 and it was 50% off of that. And I'm like, you mean to tell me I'm gonna get a plaid pillow from Pottery Barn for $10? So I go to check out, oh no, honey. Oh no. You also have to pay for the pillow inside it. You have to pay for the cover and then the pillow. And I was like, what? And not only that, I kind of found this to be slightly creepy, but I was minding my own business, walking around the store for a while. I did have the pillow in my hand and I think they watch you and they went and got the cover and the pillow and had it at the counter. And I had no idea, but when I got to the counter, they're like, oh, here's your pillow and your cover. And I was like, what? This is my pillow. This is the pillow I picked. And they're like, no, that's just a display. We're actually gonna give you a brand new pillow and a brand new cover. And I found it slightly odd that I was being watched in the store, but I don't think it had anything to do with me specifically. I think it's like a part of their process that if they see anyone carrying a pillow or something that has like a two-part piece to it, they automatically go in the, the back and bring it to the register. Anyway, I was just like, oh. And I did, you know, I was like, okay, so now I have to pay for a pillow insert. So, listen, ladies, I did. I think I was still traumatized from the candle situation. So, here's a pillow that I could have got at Walmart. And here is the cover. Isn't it beautiful though? Again, it is that same like creamy green. There's a little bit more red in this one and you can see a hint of like yellow. So lovely, beautiful, but so the pillow was not on sale. It was $20, but this was on sale and it was originally $29.50. Uh, but you can see, you can see the two tags on there. Uh, but this 
these tags was not on the pill I was carrying around. And this ended up being, I think, 40% off. And it says Denver Plaid. Anyway, there's that. I'm not going to lie. If I find the right pillow size at Walmart, that pillow is going back. All right, so now we're gonna get into more of like clothing for plaid. And I went to this store called Francesca's. It is one of my daughter's favorite stores and I had no idea about it really. But I found a new scarf. I mean, it's not like I need any, but it's plaid. Talk about what's happening right now. The pom-poms are giving me like a USA, but not in an obvious way. There's navy in this. So this is more of a navy plaid with red and I'm into it so much. And these pom-poms, I do not have any scarves with these like just cute, they were having a deal at Francesca's. It was buy one, get one 50% off. This was $34. They're a little pricey too. Um, $34. And I assume I did. This is what I got half off. So it ended up being $17. So that's a great price to me because it is amazing quality. It is huge. Like, look at this. Can you see how huge that is? I mean, it just goes on for days. I mean, it could be a blanket. And I got this beautiful pink plaid. Pink plaid, I'm completely into it. It is like a blush pink with gray. And that's the other exciting thing about plaid is originally it's always kind of been like this color traditionally, um, but now you can get plaid in so many different variations. But let me tell you, this is just the softest shirt for starters. And this one was $38. So this one I did not get on sale. It was on sale. So buy one, get one half off. So this was half off because it was cheaper by $4. While we're here, I'll go ahead and show you guys really quickly what else I got. It's for my daughter. I got her a couple earrings, but they're wrapped up. Um, I got her this cute little book book of good advice and it has like a fabricy kind of texture to it thought that this would be great for her she's at this age where she doesn't want to hear things from me you know so she keeps telling me my opinion is too strong and I think that's just a teenager's way of saying you're not telling me what I want to hear you know we've all been there when you're in certain situations you only want to hear what you want to hear and I thought that it would be good for her to kind of have something like this where you know she can still have like positive advice whenever she needs it I always give her positive advice but what I'm saying is sometimes they don't Teenagers don't want to hear it from their parents. So I just want to make sure that she has something like this around for her. And on that note, I also saw these and they're little prayer boxes. Ugh. And then for starters, the box is just to die for. There's this gold foil and a really sweet illustration of a whale that looks like a unicorn. Right? How adorable is that? With faith, all things are possible. And this is a prayer box. And then in here, she has a little paper and pen. And then when you hear, when your head starts to worry and your mind just can't rest, put prayers down on paper and let God do the rest. So I thought this would be perfect in her stocking. I'm whispering that just in case she's up because it's for her and it's not Christmas yet. And the very last bag is going to be Forever 21. Okay, the first thing in here is actually for me because I don't have a plaid like this. And I tend to always gravitate towards blue, especially when like I'm for like my work outfits. When I go into the office, I love blue. And I thought I do not have a plaid like this at all. This kind of is more like a gingham pattern, but to me, Gingham is plaid to me specifically. So I absolutely love it. And look how pretty the ruffles are. And I could just see this with like a blazer and slacks. 
a skirt, like a high-waisted pencil skirt or something, and the ruffles go on to the back. And it's a price that I'm obsessed with, $19.90, but this was 50% off. So it was $10. Take a look at this plaid because... See, I think this is charming to me. This is country, this is open and airy. I know my descriptions of plaid are a little much, but I'm into it. I'm into this, and I think you could pair so many different like little undertops. You could go with a navy, you could go with like a deep red, you could go with like an uh, like a, like a army green, like a darker green under here. And it was $7, $7. I mean, just gorgeous, and it's very, very soft. So, I mean, do you see, like, all the plaid in my life, people? Ugh. All right, so here is the next top. This is actually for my daughter. And what I loved about it was the way that they had it styled on the mannequin. I should have taken a photo so that you guys could have seen. But let me tell you, she was wearing, like, a corduroy brown skirt, black stockings, and she might have had on even like knee-high socks with some ankle boots. And then she had, it was very layered. It was a very layered look. Not something my daughter's into at all. She doesn't do all of that. She is more casual laid back in her style. And, but the mannequin also had on a cami, like a green cami, this, and then a jean jacket. So try to combine all of that together. It sounds like a lot, but it was very adorable. And this is actually like a crop top type of um, flannel. And she doesn't have something like that. So it's not like a long flannel. And I thought that she would love to have this in her um, collection of plaids because she doesn't have anything like this. And as you can see, there's like a teal blue in here. So it's really different, really, and I love all the cream in this, and it was $19.90, it was not on sale, and I, I had the guy take this off the mannequin because they didn't have any more. I think it falls right at the waist, but I don't know. It depends on you. It depends on how long your torso is. So, but I just thought this was really pretty, and it's really soft. So as it turns out, that's actually all the plaid I got. I thought I had more plaid, but I don't. That's pretty much it. But you know what? While we're here, I'll just go ahead and show you what else I got. I got her some pajama bottoms. They were on sale for like $10, I think. And it's a polar bear on a bicycle. I got her some socks every year, every Christmas. I always get her Forever 21 socks because they have the cutest designs. And they're very cheap. They're like $1.50. So, $1.90. So this one has a dinosaur, and then this one has a koala bear. I got her this fun little top. It is kind of see-through, so she'll have to wear like a cami under here, but it's like really glittery, and I thought it would be fun for like a New Year's Eve outfit because her and her friends, you know, they all get together and they hang out, and I thought this was really cute. It is, it, it's not a crop top, but it's like short, so it'll fall right at past her belly button. So if she's wearing high-waisted jeans, it would be really, really cute. Got this top. It's really interesting. I've never seen anything like it. The front, I don't know if she'll like this or not, but it's really soft. And that's the thing, she doesn't like scratchy material. I mean, who really does? But like, I can handle it, you know? But she just, she's has to have soft stuff. She's been like that since she was a baby. But here's the back. It's really pretty. I just love the the neckline and the scrunchie in the middle is just, it's different. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a green gray sage color, I guess. I also got her a burgundy, just a little plain top. She is a plain girl, kind of like me. She doesn't really wear prints. And if she does, it's a print she's bought that she likes because I'm too afraid to buy prints because I'm like, she'll either hate it or she'll love it and I'm not about to gamble my money like that. And most of her jeans are high-waisted so I always buy like the little crop top stuff. Her stomach doesn't show or anything, but you know. Here is a, oh, I wish the camera would pick it up, but there's just a lot of 
like fogginess outside, so I'm not getting that much good lighting. But you guys, this is a dark, dark green top, and it is so beautiful. But yeah, see, any time that you put up like a dark item up, it like, I don't know, it just goes haywire. See the lighting? It goes crazy. But anyway, so cute. Here's the last top. It's just white. I don't know that she has anything like this in her closet. So I thought white would be cute. But look, look how cute she could take. She could wear this under this. Like that would be just adorable. That is it for my haul. I know not every single thing was plaid, but I got so much plaid stuff that I really do love it. And I hope that you guys love this video too. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys for Plaid Week Day 3 tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'm really excited about it. So I'll see you guys there. Bye.